episode of Black Women in Higher Education. We focus on Sadie T.M. Alexander. As Linda Perkins indicated in the impact of the cult of true womanhood on the education of Black women and the African-American female elite, Many black women in the 19th and early 20th centuries that attended prestigious higher education institutions were a part of what she called the black elite. They shared common characteristics, such as being from affluent black families, and also often used their educational opportunities as a way to uplift the black community. In this way, Sadie T.M. Alexander had many of the same characteristics of this relatively privileged group. However, her story is so much more than that. As you will see, Sadie used her education and skills to help other Blacks in Philadelphia and beyond, and used her negative experiences with gender racism as an opportunity to strategically overcome obstacles and achieve her goals. Sadie attended the University of Pennsylvania and was able to graduate in just three years with high honors. She was also admitted to the PhD program in economics, making her the first Black woman to receive that degree in the United States. Even with the support of several faculty members, Sadie was unable to find work in her given field in the Northeast. As a result, Sadie was forced to take a job in North Carolina. She was hired by North Carolina Mutual Life, the largest black insurance company in the United States at the time. She didn't move back to Philadelphia until she married Raymond Pace Alexander, a Harvard Law graduate. She then enrolled in law school and excelled after she completed law school, she joined her husband's law firm and focused on orphan law. When she was enrolled here as a student, she faced much discrimination. The dean of the law school even tried to bar her from being a part of the law review and encouraged other female students not to study with her. In spite of all of that, she graduated in 1927 and was the first black woman to do so. She also successfully passed the PA bar. Sadie believed in empowerment for Black men and women. She fought discrimination laws even after she opened up her own law firm in 1959, and she would not turn away a valid case based on an inability to pay. As a lawyer, community leader, and civil rights activist, Sadie focused on helping Black people fight oppression and attempted to mobilize them to exercise their rights. She was even called upon by President Truman to serve on the Committee for Human Rights in 1947, which influenced future civil rights legislation. My name is Brittany Robertson, and thank you for tuning in to Black Women in Higher Education.